Okay, so this is a little instructional video on how to make um, a mitten like this out of uh, recycled sweaters. And um, I sent the patterns, but I figured the patterns are a little bit hard to um, conceptualize, so I thought a little video might help. So the first thing you want to do is um, when looking for sweaters, you want to find ones that are at least 60% wool. Because in order to make a nice, like um, a nice tight uh, weave, what you do with a sweater is you actually wash it on, in hot water and and dry it at, at at heat to to purposely shrink it. It's called felting the wool, and it makes the the weave a little bit tighter than what you normally find on the sweater. It's kind of like when you accidentally ruin your sweater. Um, that's that's the end uh, texture you want. Um, but uh, the, then once you have that taken care of, the three pieces of the um, pattern are pretty simple there's the the back which you know was obviously you know this back portion here the um, and then the two fronts and these are the parts that get a little bit confusing they actually fit together kind of like that and what it is is you have uh, the one with the flat edge is the um, the base of the mitten or you know this this guy and then the uh, the rounded part is the uh, the corresponding top of the the the, the palm, I guess. Um, so those are the three pieces. And what you do is, you know, obviously I've, I've mixed and matched fabrics here, which makes it uh, you know more more visually interesting. And um, make sure when you cut out what you want to cut out that you cut out one um, in one direction and obviously one in the, the mirror image so that you don't wind up with two right mittens, which you know clearly has never happened to me. Um, actually, it happened on the second pair. Uh, so be warned. So when you cut it out, you should have something that looks you know, roughly like this. So I have a base. Um, I, I just chalked it so I know which is the wrong side. Um, the, the top, which goes, actually this probably goes like that and the back and also what you'll need is I use uh, the cuff of of the, the sweater the found sweater um, to uh, to to make the the cuff here that and I button together so you cut out those um, pieces um, and then also you'll have corresponding liners this is actually a, a, a fleece lined mitten so I cut out the exact same pieces exact same size um, in, a, in a, you know, whatever weight uh, fleece you want. So, um, when you sew them together, I sew the, the palms together first. So, they go kind of thumb to thumb like that. Um, and uh, let me uh, flip this around so that I can show you. Okay, so when you sew them thumb to thumb like that, what you wind up with is something that looks like this. This will be the front of the mitten. And then with the liner, you just leave the unfinished edges out um, and, and sew the back on. Okay? So with the liner, again, the unfinished edges stay out so that all of your unfinished edges stay between the liner and the outside of the mitten. On the the real mitten, once you sew, um, once you sew the pieces together, here's halves of, of uh, the front of, of a, a new mitten I'm making. Um, I've obviously sewed the wrong sides out. You want to flip it back, right side out. Sorry, this is a little remedial, but I have no idea what the sewing skill is of whoever's watching. So then you pull it right side out. And then you put the right side of that mitten with the right side of the back, matching it up like that. And then you just have to kind of tuck the tuck the thumb inside. I, I pin it together and pin pin the thumb off to the side so that you can sew them uh, sew them around. Oh, on the on the thumb piece, when you're sewing them together, you just want to sew from the base of the thumb. So from the base of the thumb on the outside of the mitten, around the thumb obviously, across the palm, and kind of stop at the other side. So it's a straight across line, um, and you want to sew from about where my fingertips are. So you can see on, on a finished mitten, you're, you're sewing it from about there to there, um, because the rest will be held together um, with the back of the mitten. All right, 
So turning it inside out or right side out, pinning it together, and then when you sew that together, you should wind up with something that looks like this. All right, so it's such that when you flip it right side out, here's the exciting part, you get something that looks like a finish, like a finished mitten. And this is just the shell, obviously. Um, as I mentioned, when you do the liner, leave the, the unfinished edges out so that your finished product on the liner will look something like this. You notice all my, um, I'm not gonna flip this inside out. This is, this is I have all my um, exterior or my unfinished edges on the outside. So that when I put these together, um, I'll, I'll I have a right and a left, so this isn't gonna work. But I'll um, tuck it inside of the uh, inside of the shell, um, and then let's see. And then when I when I tuck it inside of the shell um, is is when it kind of gives it its shape. And then what I do is I'll sew the cuff of the um, the uh, the uh, sweater onto the onto the liner, actually not the outside. So you flip the cuff inside out, and then sew that to the liner, so that when you when you stuff the liner inside of the the glove, you'll fold the sweater cuff back over top of back over top of the um, the finished mitten, and then you can tack it together, you know, with a with a button or something like that. Um, and then the button just kind of holds together the, the shell and the liner um, and you know, kind of finishes it off. I think that's it. Um, hopefully that's helpful. And um, a note on the, um, you, you probably have to try the different sizes. The size of this pattern fits my hands, which are pretty small and in most women's hands. Um, but uh, one thing I've noticed is I've, I've had to play with this pattern. I, I created this pattern, but um, you'll you'll want to keep the thumb ample so that you can so that you can have room to sew around the edges. Um, the, the first couple of times I tried it, I made the thumb way too small. So um, I know that looks quite a bit bigger than a real thumb, but um, you're gonna need that space for sewing. Okay, have fun, good luck, and uh, you know, uh, I guess uh, trial and error best best way to go.